What's up fellow bookworms and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan and today I just wanted to make this super quick little video so that I could share some books with you that I got today at this really cool little library used book sale. If you guys have ever been to anything like this but basically I think it's just a way for the library system to get rid of some excess books but I definitely think that there were also some donations maybe it's mostly donations people donate to their library and then the books that the library can't use they just sell I have no idea but I know that these cool little sales are a great way to support your local library system and they're just generally cool. They're a great place to find some really good books for really cheap. We got, I think, a total of eight books today for like $23. The most expensive book was $8. So we found some really great books at really, really great prices. So this is not really going to be fall themed. If you saw my fall TBR video, you know that I'm kind of trying to stick to like spooky thrillery fall type books right now. So these probably aren't gonna fall into that category except for one. But still, I just wanted to share some super cool books with you guys that I found today and maybe get your feedback. If you've read any of these books or know anything about them, please let me know in the comments below what you thought about these books. So let's just get right to it and start with the first book that we picked up, which was Take My Hand. This is a book that my wife chose and she was actually recommended this book by someone that we know who said it was really, really great. It is historical fiction and it is a relatively new release. This was a book of the month book like maybe two months ago, maybe three at the most. And we got it for $8, which was the most expensive, air quotes, book of the entire haul. So for that price, uh, this is definitely a steal of a deal. Now, again, I probably won't, eh, unless my wife really loves it, probably won't read this book. But the super quick synopsis here is it is historical fiction, as I said. And we follow a young nurse in the 1970s who is a black woman and she's just kind of out of nursing school and she goes back to her community and she wants to make a difference in her community. Um, in the process of that, she discovers some interesting uh, patients. I think they are like children basically that she is sent out to tend to and she's also kind of in the like reproductive uh, field of nursing, I think. And something happens with those kids and then we flash forward and she's an adult trying to retire, probably in present day or something. And then something from her past, presumably with those children, comes back up. The synopsis here, the one printed in the front of the book at least, wasn't super clear about exactly what the plot was. It was kind of just more of a setup. So I really don't know what to expect with this one. I really don't know much to say about it other than that it is historical fiction and it has fairly good reviews. So again, I probably won't pick this one up unless my wife really, really loves it, then maybe I'll think about it. But still, a steal of a deal for $8. The next book that we picked up was also one that my wife chose and it is Every Last Secret. And this sounds like a thriller through and through. Again, the super short version here is there's a family that lives in this sort of idyllic, I think that's how you say that word, neighborhood. Um, you know, just your typical well-off family, I guess, well-off neighborhood. And this couple moves in next door and they kind of get to know one another, that sort of thing. But the wife of the couple next door apparently becomes very interested in our main character's husband. I guess she's the main character. Uh, Anyway, the neighbor wants to steal uh, the woman's husband. It sounds like it's kind of the, the overall very simple plot here. And obviously, I assume that's going to cause some problems, some drama, some things like that. The synopsis uses the word obsession, so she probably well, definitely becomes obsessed with this woman's husband. And I assume wants to try to steal him away or kill the wife to get her out of the way or something like that. I'm really not 100% sure, 
But this sounds like a pretty solid thriller. Uh, kind of follows the, the somewhat thriller template that we see from time to time. But it sounds like a, a fairly decent book. And it was a dollar, so, you know, come on. Obviously, we had to pick it up. <laughs> Next up, we've got Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I think that's upside down. No, it's not. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This was a dollar. Missing the dust jacket, but for a dollar, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, I've talked about Blake Crouch and his books a lot of other times on this channel, so I won't say a whole lot here. I read Upgrade pretty recently. I just picked up Recursion, and now I've got Dark Matter, and I hear that this is probably his best book. Uh, it's the opinion of most people, it seems like, so this is the one I'm probably most excited to read. Now, I will say that because it doesn't have the dust jacket, I wasn't able to read the synopsis, so I have absolutely no idea what this book is about. Now, you may be saying to yourself, yeah, but you could have Googled it, and that is true. That is very true but I did not, and I'm not gonna do that now. So <laughs> let me know in the comments uh, what you thought of this book, if you read it. If you're completely unfamiliar with Blake Crouch, he is kind of uh, a techno thriller, I think is the official genre writer, which is like uh, technology-based thrillers. The only book of his that I have read was Upgrade, which was a pretty good book, I would recommend it, but I'm not super familiar with his work, so again, Really excited to read this one. I probably will try to read Recursion first and save this one for last since it is kind of generally agreed upon to be his best book. I'll save it for last. But I am excited to read it, hopefully eventually sometime pretty soon. All right, we'll segue from a intense techno thriller to this gem of a book. This book is called Pros and Cons, but it's prose like writing, P-R-O-S-E. This is a book that my wife chose. This is what we call in the biz a cozy mystery. By the biz, I mean uh, people who read, you know. Um, <laughs> this is, yeah, it's just your cozy mystery. The plots are probably all kind of the same, but basically what we've got here is I'm pretty sure a detective cat and in this detective cat's town, there's this uh, food and wine festival. They live in, I think, like upstate New York somewhere. And this small town has a food and wine festival that's going to draw all these people to town. And I, maybe the cat wants to do it. I'm really not sure who, but someone owns a shop or something, and they decide that to uh, entertain some of the tourists and draw attention to their shop, they're going to have an Edgar Allan Poe reading kind of thing, but the person who is supposed to do the reading ends up being murdered, of course, and so to solve that murder, they have to then use clues from the works of Edgar Allan Poe to try to solve the murder. So, you know, it's that kind of book. It sounds super cute. It sounds super cozy. Is it a book with an amazing plot? I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not, but it sounds like a fun, cute little read that I'm sure my wife will probably enjoy. I'm gonna probably put this one on the not for me list, but again, if she's absolutely raving about it, maybe I'll pick it up. But uh, if you've read this one or something similar, uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Now, before I get to the next couple of books, I just wanna kind of preface it by saying that yesterday, I think it was, the day before yesterday, I was at Barnes & Noble and I bought The Three Body Problem because one of you guys recommended it. I can't remember who or when recommended it, but I know that on one of the posts uh, under the community tab or in the comments of one of my videos somewhere, someone said they were reading this book and that they were liking it. So I checked it out and it sounded really, really interesting. So I picked it up at Barnes & Noble, like I said, a couple days ago. And then when we were at the used book sale today, I actually found the other two books in the trilogy and they were each a dollar. So that is a steal of a deal for sure. They're not really in good shape. I mean, you know, they were a dollar. So I'm definitely not complaining. They're definitely used. Uh, they've definitely been, uh, kind of looks like maybe uh, on a smoker's bookshelf because uh, they're kind of yellowed on the edges. But otherwise, you know, they're not in bad shape at all. And for $2 to finish out a trilogy, uh, I'm definitely gonna take that deal every single time. Uh, this one might be in a little bit better shape. I'm not really sure. And I can't really hold them both and the mic at the same time. 
But here they are. Two dollars. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, if you are the person who recommended the first book, let me know in the comments below. Jog my memory, please, so that I can thank you for that. And if you've read this series or the first book in the series, let me know what you thought as well. Uh, to my understanding, I don't remember much of the plot off the top of my head. I'm gonna drop these books. All right, that's better. I don't remember much of the plot <laughs> off the top of my head, but I know it's uh, like an alien sci-fi book. Basically, I think there's this transmission that comes from space, uh, warning Earth, I think, of, a, of an invasion or something like that. And um, that's about as far as my knowledge goes. <laughs> it's an alien science fiction book. And that sounds cool enough to me. I do know that I did at one time know all that the book was about, at least the first book, but I don't remember it all right now. Um, but it sounds really, really interesting. And again, if you've read it, or at least the first book in the series, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. I would love to hear it. All right, and then the final book that we picked up from this used book sale is The Sundown Motel. And this is the one book that I think fits perfectly into the fall vibe. I'm really contemplating putting this on this year's fall TBR list. If you saw that video, you know that it was already extremely ambitious and there's absolutely no way I'm going to read all those books during the fall, this fall at least. So adding another book, on the one hand seems stupid, but on the other, kind of just thinking, why not, you know? It's already stupid, let's just make it a little bit more stupid. But uh, maybe I'll read it this fall, maybe I won't. But I've heard a lot of good things about this book. This is the Book of the Month edition from January 2020. If you haven't read this book, if you're unfamiliar with it, the sort of short synopsis here is that way back in the 70s, I think, in upstate New York, which is kind of funny because two of the other books, one took place in the 70s and the other took place in upstate New York. So this is kind of the culmination of both of those in the 70s in upstate New York. Uh, this girl wants to move to New York City, but I think she needs money to do that. And so she takes a job at the Sundown Motel. And then the little blurb flashes forward to 2017, present day more or less. And this girl wants to know about what happened to her aunt at the Sundown Motel. Now I'm going to assume that the girl from the 1970s who got the job there is the aunt, but maybe not. But as she goes back to this motel, she realizes that nothing has changed. It's the same way that it was way back in the 70s or whenever, the 80s. And she uh, begins this investigation, I think, into what happened to her aunt who has disappeared. I'm going to say working at the Sundown Motel, if not working there, staying there. Um, so yeah, it sounds like kind of a paranormal mystery, sort of, with some thriller vibes thrown in for sure. This has been a really popular book, especially this time of year. So if you've read it, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. I am really excited to read it. Like I said, hopefully I'll get to it within the next couple months, maybe. The problem with fall is that it's really only like one month. You know, after October, you know, it's kind of almost like Christmas mode after that. Do I want to read like a spooky Halloween book? in Christmas mode? I don't know, we'll see. And that's a wrap. Those are all the books that we got from this cool little used book sale that our local library system put on. Um, as I've said already a bunch of times, if you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments below what you thought of them. If you've been to a cool used book sale like this, let me know in the comments below what sweet finds that you found. I didn't think that through very well. Let me know what you found and I would love to hear about it. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Love to have you as part of this little growing bookish community. I'm super, super grateful for each and every one of you that are here, that watch these videos, that comment on the videos that I get to interact with. I love interacting with you guys and I love hearing about what you guys are reading, what you're enjoying, what you didn't like all that fun stuff. So please subscribe, come back, watch another video. Let's hang out a little bit more. For now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.